Bem. Ah, oh, God. Babe. Babe, what's up? Babe, what's up? It is positive. Did you, did you just say positive? Yes. <laughs> so, babe, what are we going to do now? Babe. Babe, we need to get rid of it. What? You heard me. Why? Babe, what? We're not ready to be parents now. I can't even take care of myself. I can't even take care of you, babe. Let alone having a baby. Think about this. Please. I'm not an advocate of abortion. But please, for our own good, babe, we need to get rid of it. I beg you. Please. Please. Wait, um, I'm sorry, but I can't do abortion. I cannot. I can't indulge in such unholy and ungodly act. Not today. Tomorrow, not even in the nearest future. Don't you get it? Listen to me. This is a decision that I took years ago as a teenager. I cannot do abortion. This is like the best thing we can do now. I'm not ready. You're not ready. You know I love you so much. I... <laughs> do you even understand what I'm trying to say? You know how I've been struggling. We are not prepared. We can't have the baby. We can't. Please, my love. Please just listen to me. Just. Just heed this advice and instructions, please. I beg you. Please. Baby. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm sorry, I can't do a cannot. You're not listening right now, huh? Maybe you just get ready to be a single mother. I'm leaving. Start your final decision. I told you already. Sit yourself. Take this for your transport. Let me take you home Let me take you home Searching through the darkness Follow the sound Hoping to find you Lost but I'm bound Let me take you home Let me take you home Let me take you home let me take you home. Let me take you home. Money, I can't believe you broke up with Amaka just like that. I mean, after all this while. What do you expect me to do? Huh? Do you expect me to shoulder the responsibility of, of, of having a baby? I can't even do that right now. I can barely feed myself. I can't take care of Amaka. How do you expect me to start taking care of a baby? What do you want me to do, bro? If you truly love her, you will stand by her. I mean, your seed is growing in her. Who said I don't love her? Who said I don't love Amaka? Bro, I am only asking for something very understandable. I'm not even a preacher of abortion, but bro, this is what it is, man. I can't do nothing at this point. My hands are tied. Eh? What's the difference between Amaka and other girls that are co co committing abortion? What's the big deal? Oh, the difference, right? What is the difference? Okay, morals, upbringing, home training. These are the difference. 
you know, Amaka is not like every other girl out there that are morally bankrupt. I mean, she cares about the implications of her actions. Guy, you're just speaking English. Implication of actions. All these things you're saying right now is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is reality. I don't have money. I love Amaka, but I cannot take care of another person. I can't even take care of her. It's simple, bro. Simple. Nani, I didn't see you doing this. I <clears throat> mean, like, I did it. Hello? Ma, you're not yet in the office. I know I'm not yet in the office, duh. What's the problem? The personal assistant to the governor is here. The meeting is scheduled for 10.30 a.m. But it's 10.42 already, ma. What did you say? Why didn't you remind me yesterday that the meeting was scheduled for today? I forgot, ma. You forgot? A business meeting of that magnitude you forgot? A state government project you forgot? God, I'm so, I'm so sorry, ma. I'm so sorry, ma. Listen, just keep them all in the conference room. Give them really nice drinks and tell them I'll be with them shortly. Do you understand me? Okay, ma. Okay, ma. I'll do that. You forgot. She forgot. Sorry? No, 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 no. Don't you dare tell them that. Tell them that I'm rounding up some stuff, that I'm in the office and I'm going to be with them shortly. All right? Good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Musa, open the gate. Oh, God. Why are you calling me? No, why are you calling me now? It's because of I'm in this mess. I have a freaking flat tire. I should have been in the office hours ago. Listen, just book me a ride, all right, and get me out of this place. I need to be in the office. Ma, booking a ride will take time, and we're already out of time, ma. If you can just flung down a cab, a tricycle, or a bike, anything within your reach, ma. Because, ma, I'm afraid we can't keep down here after the next 10 minutes. Just pray. Just pray. Pray they don't go. Okay, ma. Yeah. Okay. What are you calling me for? What are you calling me for? Just, 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 just look at my tire. Just look at my tire now. Just, 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 just look at my tire. Where are you going? Um, Nahita Junction. All right, one thousand naira. Okay, good. I need to go now. Okay. Please hold on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right.
What happened to your car, ma? Ma. What happened to your car? I mean, I could be of help, you know. Oh my goodness. I could get a mechanic to help you fix it while you... Really? I'm not supposed to entrust you with my car key. A total stranger. Really? Sorry, ma. I meant no harm. I was just, I was just trying to help. Please, don't be of help, okay? Stop apologizing. Just take me to where I'm going. I'm supposed to be there like since like yesterday. All right? Thank you. Okay, ma. My money. money. Sorry? My money. How much is it? 1,000 naira. Oh, 1,000 naira, you want to shout me down. Take. What a day. Oh, God. <laughs> you, what are you doing here? Well, I guess you were in so much hurry that you didn't realize that where you parked your car is actually a very dangerous area. <laughs> so I volunteered to watch after the car for you. And trust me, if I wasn't here, you would not meet this car in this condition. <laughs> Superman, so I'm supposed to believe you just parked your car and just watched my car for me. But really? You're not meant to believe. I watched after it after all. Wait, 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 hold on. You actually watched my car. Um, my apologies. My staff actually told me that this area is a play field for bad boys. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. You're welcome. I have all to right. go now. No, no, hold on, hold on. Please, please, please. You, you watched my car. Come on, let me get you something. That's not a... No, no, no easy... need for that. No, never mind. I'm good. But you've been here like, what now? Two, three hours? I should pay you for that time. It's called an act of kindness. Hmm? You don't pay for it. You receive it freely so you can give it to other people freely. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> um... <clears throat> Um, <laughs> what, what about your number? Your number, so I can, at least I can call you and say thank you. Rude. Mm -hmm. Tell me something. Are you serious? You know how these guys can be now with the rich single ladies. I put him in his place. Are you serious right now? Yes, now. As I was taking me to the office, so my mind was on the meeting. Mm -hmm. But I would tell the state gov, no, my PA, and all of a sudden, this rickety cab driver decides to initiate conversation with me. Does he know who I am? Of course, I call this bluff. No, you're not serious right now. I'm you? being very serious. My mother was like, from where now? From where to where? So I just called this bluff and ignored him. Only for me to come back to my car and find the same guy watching over my car. I felt so bad, so I tried to offer him money and he rejected it. I felt so bad for treating him so poorly in the first place. I know that feeling. <laughs> it was... <sighs> this guy just reduced my ego to nothingness. The most embarrassing part was that when I asked him for his phone number, he just drove off and ignored me for the whole world to see. Does he know who I am? I bet you don't allow you be. Ah, oh, God. It's not even funny. This guy reduced my ego to nothingness. I have never encountered such in my life. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on, bro. You should have collected the money. You need it. Guy, I know I probably should have collected the money and maybe given my number too, but bro, that lady fired the wrong shot in the first place, man. Imagine, I was just... I was just trying to establish healthy customer relationship. I was starting a conversation in view of helping her. Guy, she literally treated me like I was nobody. Like I was talking to a ghost. Guy, to make matters worse, she threw the money at me. She did? Guy, as what? House boy I've been awaiting. Okay, I can understand. But as far as street is concerned, it doesn't matter how the money comes. Mm -mm. The most important thing is you grabbing it. Mm -mm. No, I bet I bet you disagree with you, man. 
guy I'm a king. Sometimes money is not everything, man. Ego matters too, fam. Let me tell you, bro. Money is everything. Money is life. Money is blood and you don't be a poor king. Just look at the both of us without money. We are in hell. Well, I thought data was life though. But you need money to buy data. Hmm. Yeah. You have a point though. You have a point. <sighs> Guy. Guy, I still feel better like this, man. I still feel my dignity is intact. Guy. Nani, you promised to love me to the end. You promised never to break my heart. You promised to give me the whole world if you ever owned it. Now the road is tough. Now the chiefs are down. You abandoned me. You left me on this scary wilderness to journey down alone when I needed you the most. You're my baby. I will have you. Come what may, I promise you that. But the truth is that the best of all the interviews and the exams you have made is an inexperienced person. Mm. In fact, he has not worked in any film. So the best is an inexperienced person. How did you come to the conclusion that he's the best? I went to his CV. Okay. He graduated with the first class. And he actually proven to me that he merited the exams. I see. So... What I'm hearing you say is that you want me to give an office as delicate as that to an inexperienced staff. What do I look like to you? A moron? Does this place look like a training ground for people? My the truth is that where we get it wrong sometimes is that we will keep on recycling the old and outdated brains in the name of experienced staffs. Huh. But ma, I strongly believe that this young dude can do it better than the old stars. Really? Are you willing to short tea to stand in for him? Maybe. There will be consequences. Guy, guy, I made it, bro. Guy, I made it, bro. Jeez. What is it? Guy, sit down, sit down, sit down and talk to me. Bro, bro. guy, God is wonderful, man. Come on, tell me about it. Guy, you remember the interview that I told you that I went for last month? Yes. I wrote the exams with 300 people, but bro, they just selected me, man. They said I should start work, like I should start working. Don't tell me you're kidding, bro. Fam, I am not kidding, man. This is, this is good news, bro. Man, I'm so happy for you. This is huge. Bro, it's fat. Damn, I'm so happy, man. I mean, I'm so happy for you. Guy, guy, supper days are over. This is huge. I'm so happy for you. Guy, I don't suffer for this you life, what? man. This calls for a celebration. Guy, where's the bar man? What's going on, man? Bar man! Guy! I think you're needing some corporate wares. Some shirts, ties, jackets and all that. You know it's a big fair, so you have to dress well to maintain the reputation of the office you represent. That's right, you have, you have a very good point there. I've actually been thinking about it. So I have like, I have like 35K in my account. Huh? Um, there's a neighbor of mine that runs a boutique. So I'll just meet him and see if I can get like two shirts, two trousers, and maybe two ties and two jackets, you know, so that when I get paid, I'll balance up small, small. Well, um, that's a brilliant idea. That's right. Um, but wait. What was that? What of Amaka? You know, she has always been there for you. Is she not going to be a partaker of these lessons? Come on, she has been the one praying for you all this while. Yeah. 
Noni, I know you broke up with Amaka because of your financial instability to take care of your wife and a baby. But to God be the glory. Now with 250,000 Naira per month, you should stop complaining of financial instability. Yeah. I just um, need to think of it. Oh God. Guys, don't worry. I'll think. Thank you. What is good about it now? So you have money to buy new clothes. You have money to buy new clothes, yet you cannot pay your monthly account on the car I gave to you. Are you that wicked? Sir, honestly, you know what I go through? Trying to pay in money for that troublesome car with due respects. You really, really appreciate me. Appreci appreciate what? What are you appreciating? To me, you're very responsible. You're buying expensive clothes, even suits, and common to balance money for your monthly account on the car I gave you. You cannot. That is the height of irresponsibility. You're spending money on trivial things. You don't know. Oh God, don't Just listen to me. Shh, just shut up. You know what? I'm sick and tired of this show. Games. Let me have my car key. There you go. And for the little you have paid for the month, forget about it. It's a price for your responsibility and callosity. Just buying new clothes. Come in, please. Good morning. Morning. My the new accountant is here. Oh yeah, please. Good morning, ma'am. Wait a minute. You. I've seen you from somewhere, haven't I? Yes, ma'am. I am. Um, I'm the cab driver that dropped you off the other day that you had flat tires and you were rushing for an appointment. <laughs> oh my goodness! Really? So what were you doing with that rickety cab? Hustle. I mean, I'm not the only one on that table. There are many of us. A lot of people are unemployed because the unemployment rate is very high. But we have to survive, so we do different things. I see. I mean, you look really different in a suit. Almost didn't recognize you. Really nice. Thank you, ma'am. Steph. Short for Steph. Thank you, Steph. You are? Um, my name is Nonso. You can also call me Nani. Nani. Yes, ma'am. Nice. So, um, welcome to my world, Nani. Um, it's good to have you here. Thank you, Ma. Steph. Sorry. Thank you, Steph. Right. Okay. So, that's how I was waiting though, for this first class folder. Then boom, the door opens. Guess who it was? Who was that? Guess now. I'm not good at guessing who. Remember that cab driver I told you about that rejected my money and didn't even give me his phone number? Mm hmm That's who. He <coughs> don't say. I say. So I said to him, it's like I know you. I've, I've met you before. That's when he explained everything to me. I was like, wow, he looked totally different in a suit, so dapper and, and handsome. I don't understand. Like, he's been a graduate all this while. Well. That's the same question I asked him. Apparently so, yeah. What a small world. Very small world. Like, how do you even connect that dot? So, he, he's your accountant now? Mm. Thanks to Mr. Justice, my manager. Yes. Wow. What a coincidence. <sighs> uh, 
That same lady? <laughs> Guy, very same lady, man. I can't believe this. Oh, more. <laughs> you know, when I got to that complex and I saw her car, I recognized it. And I remember that that was the complex where I dropped her off. And my man was like, ah, what could be the odds that this girl works here? Do you understand? Yeah. I mean, they are different companies. And after a moment, the secretary made a statement referring to the boss as a she. Then, it was time for me to go in and meet my new boss. I opened the door, wham. There she was. <laughs> I was like, man, this world is a very small place. A small world indeed. Small world indeed. Then we started even changing from plenty that day. Um, <sighs> anyway, um, when are you bringing back Amaka? If Amaka is to be here, we will have a whole lot of homemade foods to eat. At least you always prepare a pot of stew, a pot of soup. That will even last for over a week. Why exactly. did you change the topic? Because I don't want you to be carried away. Um, honestly, the money's going into this place is a literal waste. Mm. Yes, you guys take a look. You have this. Yes. So you you don't need this. Oh. It's literally like paying double for the same service. I'm actually wondering why you were too ignorant to see it. So they're ripping me off? That's what I was gonna say right now. I mean, I feel strongly that your accountant is a benefactor of this game. Wow. Otherwise, he should have alerted you. You know? Thank you, God. Like, I'm so happy that you came to this establishment. I mean, I thought I knew something, but I'm ignorant. Yeah, of course, ma'am. You know something. You're smart. But this this does not really have something to do with the office of the CEO. Really? Yeah, this is primary responsibility of the accounting team. I know if the accountant misses it, the manager should not miss it. Exactly. Yeah, or, or, or maybe just what I'm thinking. Maybe the, the manager also has a hand in, you know. Oh. God, the reaping. I mean, this is tantamount to unnecessarily exploiting company funds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Wow, just look at you. Ah, ah. I'm so glad I met you. I mean, I would have been looking for some smart dude with donkey years of experience and everything I want is right in front of me. Thank you, ma'am. I'm, I'm just doing my job. I mean, it's... Let me take ah. you home Searching through the darkness, follow the sound, hoping to find you, lost but not found. Let me take you home. Let me take you home. Let me take you home. Your time. Let me take you home. Let me take Buy you up home. Your Let me take. is okay Rose you're gonna answer me honestly no hypocrisy no lies no no shaming no judgments nothing of that sort okay what is it uh, can you like date your employee <laughs> hey Steph mm. don't tell me you are in love with him what is there not to love Seriously, this guy is hardworking, intelligent, proper, clean, 
has amazing business ethics. Like, he wouldn't touch money that does not belong to him. What is there not to love? Really? Yes, really. Honestly speaking, he won't touch money that does not belong to him. Unlike my former accountant that almost bled the company dry. Even my manager, the one that suggested that I hire Noni, he's now in hustle because of all the backyard deals he did. But Noni, no, he's so clean. His hands are clean, transparent mm. to the core. Well, you're not far from the truth. Honest men are so difficult to get these days. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. He's such a rare gem. Okay, does he know about this? Not about what? What are you hmm. talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, I do my best to keep it professional because I'm a big B. But there are times I just want to show him green lights. I, I don't know. I don't know if he knows. Okay, I think you should let him know. Let him know how you feel. Are you sure? What if all he sees is a business relationship and he turns me down? I, no. Okay, what if all he sees is what you see? The feeling could be mutual. You never know. Ma'am, you called me. Nani. Nani, Nani, Nani. Ma'am. How can you not see the fire of the passion in my eyes burning for you? Huh? I'm giving you everything, all of me, on the platter of gold. Just take me, take all of me. Ma'am. 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 Mm -hmm. You sent for me. How long have you been standing there? Long enough to find out that you're obsessed with someone. Oh my god. I'm, I'm so sorry, but I'm not obsessed about anyone. I was just thinking of... It's, um... it's I'm, uh, I am here now. Okay. Yes, uh, I don't need you right away, but when I do need you, I'll send for you. That's okay. But are you sure you're good, ma? Yes, of course. I'm, I'm fine. Just, just hot. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'll take my leave. All right. I'll be at your service when you need me. Thank you. Mm hmm Oh God, driving me crazy. God damn it, Stephanie, just say it, say it. <sighs> Stephanie, be bold, say what you want to say before it's too late. Bro, I think my boss is falling for you. Huh? Guy, I'm so sure about it. I mean, why do you think so? Bro, I'm not a kid. I know when a woman is acting funny. <laughs> yeah? Simone ritual. Now you say you don't have my How do you mean? See, if after everything, she falls in love with you. Eh? See, that lady is made for life. I mean, she's worth over a billion naira. But then I know you're just joking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm very sure you're just fantasizing. I'm not fantasizing. I know what I'm talking about. And I also know why she's scared to voice it out. Why? Self-esteem. I mean... She has this impression that I'm going to say no. And if I say no, 
it's going to affect work relationship. It's also going to affect her self-esteem as a person when she sees me. <laughs> Bro, let me tell you something. There is no room for self-esteem in the issues of the heart. Okay? If she is scared of striking the first shot, bro, you call it. <sighs> you think I should? Of course you should. This is a lifetime opportunity, bro. Just do it. <sighs> Literally, you won't believe what happened. So I called him to come to the office and then I ended up embarrassing myself. You don't yes. see? That's what I'm saying. Okay, so I called him on the intercom and said he should come in for a meeting. And so while he was about to come, so I was in the office rehearsing everything I was going to say, practicing all the words I was going to say. I don't even know when I ended up lost in my infatuation. He was the one that literally had to drag me out from my infatuation wonderland. It was that bad. Imagine. I was so lost for words, I was embarrassed. I just asked him to leave, like, leave, 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 leave. I'll call you back when, when I need you. It was too embarrassing. Steph, you. <laughs> hey, you that do not like men, like, no matter how wealthy, no matter how handsome, you don't even care. Okay, what happened? <sighs> Love happened. <clears throat> You're gonna pick up your phone right now. And place a call across to him. And tell my feelings on the phone? Mm -mm. Invite him over for dinner. Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Mm hmm Okay, Tina. Okay. Whew. Okay. Okay, bye-bye, bye-bye. See, uh, bro. If I were you, I will never let this opportunity slide off. By now, I could not wash her head with words, eh? So they, she will be singing my name morning, day, and night. So, wait, she's calling me. Really? No, why is she calling me now? Come on, don't be stupid, bro. Pick up the call. Hello, Ma. Hi, Nani. Um, how are you? What's up? I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm alright, Ma. Okay, so I, um... I, 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 the, uh, I'm just thinking, you no know, random thoughts, of course. And <laughs> just, if you would like to go for dinner, um, yeah, dinner, would you like to go out for dinner? D dinner? Yes, dinner, you know. Say yes, say yes. Um. Just you and me. All right, that, that's, that'll be fine, ma. That's good. I'll, I'll just dress up and meet you whatever location you choose. Okay, I will... As soon as I drop this phone, I'm going to drop the address for you. All right, ma'am. I'll be waiting. Okay, all right. Yes! <laughs> Whoa! You did crazy. Oh, boy! <laughs> boy, you don't have my be that too. <sighs> Guy, calm down. Your body just didn't haunt you, man. Take a chill pill, man. <laughs> See, I'm just I'm so happy for you. But just know this, eh? Anytime you come back from this, your date with your woman or your boss, whatsoever way you say it, just know that you owe me my own trade. Everything you guys enjoy there. Rice, meat, <laughs> pizza, crazy. everything. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's, so that's your own problem. It's like... Your problem is not a problem, trust me. But... But what? Amaka sacrificed everything for you. She was there for you. I mean, you guys are perfect together. <sighs> the best couple I ever met. Guy, Amaka chose her path. She wouldn't listen to me. She's in the past now, guy. I mean, it's been six months. Six months we broke up. Or you prefer I say no to my boss and... Go back to Omaka. Hey, Mban. God forbid. Who does that? Man? Then what exactly did you want? Today you're telling me I should go after my boss and, and get the money and get a better life. The next time you're saying Omaka, you're confusing my brain, bro. What do you want me to do? Noni, I am only feeling for her. 
guy some relationships eventually end this way man it's not every relationship that is going to lead to marriage i love Damaka. i still love her probably will love her for the rest of my life but bro we had fun while it lasted that's what matters you're right Whoa, you are looking beautiful. I know, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now, let's just hope I get my lines properly. Steph. No, be you again. <laughs> I cannot go for your hand, though. I must say you no go for my hand. I trust you. Okay, if you say so. All right, then, wish me luck. Good luck. I wish you all the luck in the world. Okay. Whoa! Searching through the darkness, follow the sound, hoping to find you, lost but not found. Let me take you home. Let me take you like it. Bike is an understatement. I love it. I like it too. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I love this place too, you know. It looks quite simple and beautiful. Yeah, I love the art. You like the art? Mm -hmm. I like it too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, are you all right? Yes. Steph, are you sure? Mm -hmm. I'm good, I'm actually great. toast yeah cheers right yeah 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 Sh sure absolutely so uh, we'll make a toast toast to what exactly toast to um uh to friendship friendship yes friendship yeah friendship and um to more business contracts business contracts to more money in our company's account yeah health long life and prosperity that's right. Yeah. Come right. Talk to me, Steph, please. Listen, listen. I don't want to talk about this right now. Okay. It's fine. But I just want you to know that whatever it is, I am here for you. I love you so much. Steph. Steph. Did he reject her proposal? No, no. You ruined it, bro. You ruined everything. This is more important to you than her. Okay? She stands to lose nothing. But you will lose everything if you let her go off. How exactly did I win everything? Fine. Since you found out that she was finding it difficult to voice out, then you strike from there. Don't they do this attack now, my guy? Or do you think it is easy for a beautiful girl like her to propose a date to you? Do you? Bro, she even gave you green light by inviting you over for a dinner. Come on, you messed everything up, man. You did all the whole thing, no? My guy. Play this game well, bro. Bro, she invited me out. I expected her to do the talking. Bro, this is 21st century, man. And she's my boss. I gotta slow down. Bro, we don't do 21st century shits here. We're talking about you hitting the target and you're telling me 21st century shits. No, 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 no. Keep playing. Just the play. Mm. 
this thing will clear your eye one day when you must have lost her and she has found solace in the arms of another man at that time will clear your eye not until then will you know that you have lost your only hope of becoming a millionaire just keep playing just strike Steph I am very weak at the moment. But whatever that it is that is making you not to express yourself whenever you are with him must be very serious. I know what it is. You do? The fear of rejection. So what makes you feel a man will reject you? I don't think he'll reject me. It's just, I feel like it's the place of a man to Toast a lady and not the other way around. That's not true. No, this is jet age. I feel you have the right to express yourself the way you want to any man that you think you like. You are beautiful. You have a good composure. You have a good job. You have mansions, fleets of cars. You have over 20 people that you pay. Come on, girl. You can do this. Walk up to him and express yourself. I don't see anything bad in this. I mean, I know he won't turn me down. I'm just saying like, you sure? I am very sure about this. Okay. Thank you, Betty. You're welcome. Oh, ma'am. I was, I was thinking, if we keep spending on rice importation, paying the taxes, the shipping fees, we keep spending over 60 million naira annually on just rice and corn. I was thinking, you know, what if we do something more economically reasonable, like you know, rent a space and then employ people that will grow the rice for us. I've done the calculations over and over again. I've, I've checked it, I've, I've really checked it very empirically and statistically. And trust me, ma'am, if we do this, we're not going to spend up to 30 million naira on rice annually. And that's going to be like slashing what we spend on rice annually by more than 50%. I, I, I think, I think we should, you know, go that route. Nani. Ma'am. Do you have a girlfriend? Excuse me, ma'am. You heard me. I said, do you have a girlfriend? I, um, no, I, I had a girlfriend. Yeah, but we, we broke up the day that I, I met you. Yeah, I don't have a girlfriend. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. It's just that um, I have fallen for you, Nani. Yes, scratch that. I am obsessed with you. And because of the fear of rejection, I decided not to tell you about it. In case you see this, it's just a work relationship. You know what I mean? So maybe you don't see me the way that I see you. But there's no harm in trying. Ma'am, which normal guy you don't want to be with you? I mean, what else does a man want in a woman? You're beautiful, you're smart, you're intelligent, you're rich. Thank you. I don't think there's any other thing that a man is looking for in a woman. Is that a yes? Yes, a million times. Yes. A million? A million? A million times? Yes, it is. When we're in an office space. It's my office. I don't need to shit. But I don't think people could see us. I don't want no any apologies. My office, I'm the CEO. You know what? I don't owe anyone any apologies. 
Oh, no, no, no. I'm not. It's, it's what? It's what? It's what? It's what? Well, let's just go somewhere. Maybe your hotel room, you know, your house. And okay, okay. <laughs> let's. <laughs> feels to be finally lying down next to you like finally it feels like heaven on earth truth yeah. is that the feeling is mutual really sure so why was i afraid of sharing my feelings with you if all that time it was mutual well um i kind of knew you liked me i mean i found out but i didn't I personally didn't want to, you know, push or be too forward. You're just proud. <laughs> so, wait, so I was afraid and you were afraid also. Well, um, I mean, have you forgotten you're my boss? That's enough reason to be afraid. So what am I now? Um, uh, Say it. You're still my boss, aren't you? Just your boss? No. Okay, yeah. I forgot. From boss to baby girl. B to B, baby. You know my sweetheart? Say it again. B to B, baby. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> So cheers to a newfound love, yes. relationship, happiness, yes. peace, yes. and joy. Too foreign. This yeah. is our ballers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it that premium or nothing? You know what it is? <laughs> feel so special because I don't have my DJ copy, bro. Uh -huh. This one is official DJ copy, bro. Uh -huh. I know, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> but you know what? Money has come. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Now my money will not be our money. Sure, you know. A man of I will go give you small, <laughs> shower money, pizza money, all those small, small ones that I can be giving you. As well as I say, good, they come, bro. <laughs> Let me take you home Searching through the darkness Follow the sound Hoping to find you Lost but not bound Let me take you home Let me take you home Pure water! Let me take you home Buy your pure water! Cold pure water, yeah. Let me take pure you water. Singing a lullaby. Hey! Sir? Come. Not waking up from lucid dreams. Good afternoon, sir. How many pure water do you want, sir? How can you be whole killed in this condition? Where is the man that got you pregnant? Sir. Sir, it's a long story. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Please, how many do you want? I think I would like to hear the long story. What is it? What happened? Sir, he said, he said I should abort the pregnancy, that he's not ready to father your child. But I refused. I'd rather suffer and raise my baby than abort it. Ah. So what about your people, your parents, your siblings, your relatives, where are they? Sir, my father will keep me alive if he sees me like this, without the man responsible for it. Do you have uh, any working bank account? Yes, I do, sir. I do.
put your bag with us here. I just sent 50,000 naira for you. Jesus. So I would like you to... No, 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 no. Stand up. You don't need to. Stand up, stand up. So who will bless you? Amen. Amen. I'd like you to take care of yourself. Look for any business, no matter how small. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not comfortable with you. So, uh, so thank you. God will bless you. Hey. No, no, but I'm serious. <laughs> no, you can't. Yes, it's months now that we've been dating, and I think that it's high time that you. You know, moved into my mansion. It's just me, the security man, and my best friend. It's high time you permanently moved in. Mardo. How many I'm serious, in? yes. <laughs> no, babe, on a serious note, I don't think that's a good idea. All right. I prefer to come and go. You know, it's not really wise for me to move in now. We're not married yet. And so, does it really matter? Babe, trust me, it does. Look. We love us. We're not husband and wife. We should know where to draw the line. All right? <laughs> Come on, chill. All right, look, I'm going to spend the weekend in your house. All right? Okay, if you say so. But I just hope that you don't change your mind after the weekend in my house. <clears throat> Young lady, what are you planning? Are you going to lock me in your wardrobe? Let's just say I have a couple of things up my sleeve. Ooh, this man, weekend. now I am scared actually, <laughs> man. Because I don't I don't trust you anymore. It's not that she don't go and put cum no me in my shoe. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> I'm the original cum say they're gonna come 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 dum come no me. Come no me. <laughs> All the way from the south south. A choir bomb, you know what I'm saying, baby. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying you're not coming back today? God. Oh, I even planned sleeping over at your place. Okay. Okay, no problem. I'll return to my place from this place. So when are you coming back? Monday evening. Today is Friday, bro. <laughs> Chai, lover boy. Okay, no problem. Enjoy yourself. Love is a beautiful thing. <laughs> Dico, get out, Joe. Enjoy yourself, huh? Mm. Love is a beautiful thing. You're back. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Come, 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 come. I want you to meet someone. Hi. Hi. Okay, so official introduction. Nani. This is Rose. Rose is my bestie and we've known each other since secondary school. It's nice to meet you, Rose. Same here. And Rose, this is Nani, my accountant and boyfriend. <laughs> Um, you actually look better, like way better than she described you. Hmm. Now I'm flattered. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, enough of the chit chat. Let's go upstairs now. Upstairs? Yeah. Yeah, we have business together. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Are you okay? Are you alright? Babe. What's that? I think I left my phone in the car. Can you help me get it? Please. Alright. Yeah, come in. <laughs> so cute. Uh, wow. Mm. There you go. 
What is this? Your phone, I found it in the car. Ah, look at it. Have you ever seen me use this phone? I barely use it. But, but this is the phone that I found in the car. Ah, babe, this is not my... My phone is, is probably somewhere there. But what do you... Did you check the back seat? No. See? So it's probably at the back seat. So go, go and get the phone. Please. Please, 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 please. Sorry, but it's morning already. And so, listen, I don't wake up because it's morning. I wake up because I'm done sleeping, okay? So if you don't mind. Um, baby, come on. Let's just, let's just say our morning prayers, then you can go back to sleep, all right? I'm sorry, what? Let's... Morning what? Prayers. Okay, listen, Nani, um, you're gonna do you, I'm gonna do me. Go ahead and do your rituals, but please leave me out of it. I really want to sleep and I don't want to repeat myself. So if you don't mind. My, my rituals? Babe. Baby. 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 Babe, what's the time? Already. What's the time? It's past seven. Babe. But I asked you to wake, wake me up earlier now. That's why I'm waking you up now. Baby, if you don't wake me since now, it's late. I'm sorry. Uh, let's say I'm in uh, morning prayer first. Oh yeah, now, sharp, sharp, okay. sharp, sharp. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank you for making it possible for us to be alive in the land of the living. Father, thank you for making us to see this beautiful morning. Father, I commit no so unto your care. Father, as he goes to work this morning, oh God, Father, take him safely to work and he's going to return in good health in Jesus' name. Amen. Babe. Ah, oh, man. I really needed that rest. Yeah. What time is it? Hmm? Ten forty-five a.m. Wow. Have you had something to eat? No, I haven't. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I'm sure you're hungry. Oh, you know what? Why don't you go downstairs? Um, I'm sure Rose would have prepared something for us to eat. Then dish something for myself and for yourself. Okay. Let me brush my teeth. I'll join you shortly. Um. <sighs> Babe, where's your kitchen? Baby, it's not rocket science. Just go downstairs. It's down the corridor. Okay? I'm gonna just try to get myself out of this reverie. Hmm. Alright. <sighs> Babe! Babe! Hey! You fry the eggs? Yeah. Let me see, let me see, let me see how tasty. I'm sure it's not so tasty. I'm sure it's not so tasty. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, God is so unfair. How can I give one man, one man, all the qualities in the world? Like, like the total package. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I hope you left some from in the kitchen. Sure, I did. You did? You better not be joking. <laughs> you better have left mine, though.
babe. Huh? It's past 2 p.m. Are you not gonna cook lunch or something? <laughs> Don't tell me you're already hungry. Are you not? No. It's that I don't cook. I mean, if you're hungry and you must cook, there are condiments in the kitchen. You can always whip something for us. But if you don't feel like cooking, fine. You see, I have my ATM card. You can always drive to the supermarket, grab something for both of us. So you don't cook? No, I don't. Do you have any problems? No, it's just that mm -hmm. where I'm from, it's, it's a norm for women to cook, especially for their men. I'm sorry, where you're from? <laughs> Is that like under the rock? Are you serious right now? A graduate speaking about a practice that is mundane and outdated. No, no, no. Cooking is not a feminine thing. Women are buying cars, the lands, and paying school fees. So men should learn how to cook. I never said cooking was a feminine thing. But you imply that. Are you serious right now? What are you trying to tell me? So every time I have to be eating eggs and, 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 and fish and, and bread. Why are you yelling at I'm, me? I, I'm sorry I yelled. Forgive me. Hi. Hi. Okay, so I'm not sure what's happening in the bathroom, but I saw your dirty underwears. So rule number one, when I'm done with my underwear, I wash them and dry them. And I suggest you do the same. Please kindly get up. I'm going to handle your dirty underwear. Hey, come on, babe. Don't, don't make it sound like that. It sound you? like what? Okay, at least you would have just helped me since you, you're just coming from there. Say that again. You know what? Fine. I just, I just go wash them. You didn't have to step on me, did you? Damn. Who's calling at this, at this odd hour? Are you serious? My ex. Your what? Why is she calling you at midnight? Hello, Amaka, why are you calling me by this time? I am sorry for disturbing your sleep. Just that, I am just coming from the labor room. And I said I have to inform the father of my baby first before calling others. I have been delivered of a child as handsome as you are. What did she say? Never mind. Whatever. Babe. Ah, hey, we're just in up already. Yeah. I prepared noodles for you so that you don't go out in an empty stomach. Oh, baby, that's so sweet. You know, I'm always very hungry in the morning. I oh, know. That's why I made it for you. And, um, baby, I would like to go to the market. I want to get a few food stores so I can prepare special eggs and soup for you. Oh, baby, I'm, I'm really flat now. I don't have money. Hmm. Baby, with small amounts, I can manage. Like, how much? Let's say 3,000. I can manage with it. I have 4,000. Wow, that's more than enough. You're amazing. Mm. You're the best in the world. You too. I'll never leave you. I love you, babe. Come here. Babe, I, I'm looking for my underwears. Yeah, I. it was meant to be inside the bathroom. I washed them already. They're hanged at the corridor. You, you washed my underwears for me? <laughs> What's so special in me washing your underwears? Are you not my mannequin? Babe, thank you. What are you thanking me for? For washing your underwear? You please just go in and have your beard and come out. Yeah, but I have to kiss you first. Okay. Mm. You're so amazing, baby. 
little bit. God bless me with you. Ah, babe, stop already. You just go and have your shower. Okay, uh, okay, with your permission. Uh, join me. Just go and come out. Okay, ju ready. just me, right? Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm waiting. Right. Are you sure you don't want me to help you? No, don't worry. Take it easy. My special Igusi has landed. Yes, baby. Your hands. <laughs> what I ordered best is what I'm getting. Is that? Let's try it out. Okay. It smells so nice, though. Thank you, baby. Mm. Do you like it? Good. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I'll just carry my microphone and just be jumping around the streets. While I'm for no get baby with a big queen, Don't play. I love you, baby. I love you too. Okay, just eat your food. Okay, but so you're busting my brain. Thank you. Just huh? eat so that you don't choke. I don't want you to choke. Have you eaten? Yeah, okay. okay. So this is all mine? All yours. It's all yours, baby. I've never loved any man the way I love you. I don't know why. I have this special love and respect for you. I just hope you don't end up leaving me one day. <sighs> Maybe because I have given you my body over and over again and you get tired of me and dump me for another woman. Baby, please. Don't leave me. Because if you do, I will feel so bad. You're not saying anything. Well, even if you leave, I will survive it. I will try and survive it. But I just want you to be rest assured that you will never find a woman like me. Someone who is going to love you for who you are. Someone who is going to treat you like a king that I always do. I am very sure of that. Ah, mm -hmm. darling Jesus, darling Jesus. I want to sing, baby. I missed you. Mm. Oh, Joe. Babe. What's that? Only send me transport. You couldn't. Don't you know that other boyfriends they send their girlfriends transport money before they come to see them? Maybe don't talk like that now. You know I don't have this period. If I have, I always send you. I don't know. You know, Jai. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to watch before you came. Hey. Good. What are you trying to do? What? No, baby, I bought these clothes also I'll wash them. I mean, you're just arriving. You need to rest. You need to relax. Babe, stop. Baby, listen. A man is a king to the woman. Yes. Kings do not labor while their subjects are around. It's a taboo. Hmm? Wait, are you my subject? You're talking about kings. Baby, if I'm a king, which kingdom am I the king of? Babe, listen to me. Pour me. You may be looking at yourself as a nobody, maybe because you're not rich yet. But when I look at you, I don't see a nobody. I see a king. The king of my heart. So don't, don't worry, I will take care of things. So you just wait and I'll be right back. I'm coming.
Searching through the darkness, follow the sound Hoping to find you, lost but not bound Let me take you home 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 What are you? What time is it? <clears throat> 9 45 a.m. So, what are you dressed for? I'm leaving this morning. <laughs> Why? I thought we agreed that we are going to go to work together tomorrow, Monday, and then we can go home after work. So, what is all this? Change my mind. You change your mind. What? Why you don't like my house? What is it? Nothing. Like I said, I... I changed my mind. I see. I hope this has nothing to do with the call you had last night. This is Sunday morning. I need to go to church. I want to attend my church service. Huh? Church service? Of course, Sunday. So why didn't you just say so and you made me talk blah 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 blah? Of course you can go to church. You can go to church from here and then you can always return back. Take one of my cars. No thanks. Fine. I'll do it my own way. You said he wasn't leaving till Monday morning. That was the agreement too. Did you people fight? No, not at all. No. Do you think he's not happy staying here? My house is like, really? He said it's fine and I believe him. It's just that his body language says otherwise. It's cold, it's distant, it's withdrawn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Listen, we're fine. We're really, really fine. I mean, we slept in each other's arms once that call came through from his ex at midnight and then everything changed. Okay, I, I think we should just relax and watch things play. Relax and watch things play? Is that a good idea? What do you want to do? Be proactive. I don't know what else to do. That's what I'm telling you. Bro, what was it you were saying over the phone? Did you guys quarrel? What actually happened? Jokes. Please, don't, don't get me wrong, but I, I need some time alone. Can you just, please? All right, all right, all right. Um, in that case, I would have to leave. But please, in the midst of troubles, you have to eat and make sure you take good care of yourself. Take it easy, bro. Bye. Who is it? Choose to show up. Good morning, ma'am. Don't good morning, mommy. Do you know what time it is? It's 10 o'clock in the morning and you just walked into my office. What is wrong with you? I've been calling you since yesterday. You didn't pick my calls and you didn't think it fit to call me back. Whatever is eating you up, just keep it out of my business. I didn't build this establishment on pleasure. Do you understand me? If not next time, mommy. Oh, the next time? There won't be no next time, ma'am. I beg your pardon? This is for you. What is this? <laughs> Do 
a resignation letter. I quit. Listen, I don't think this is necessary. You, you, you. I don't know what's eating you up, but whatever it is, we can talk it out. We can work it out. You know, I, I didn't mean to offend you. And I'm sorry if I did. I just, you can't leave me. You can't. This establishment needs you, okay? There comes a time in a man's life when he has to choose between love and lust, money and fulfillment. Steph, I choose love over lust and fulfillment over money. Goodbye, Steph. Wait, 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 Nani! Nani! You didn't choose me! You've come to see your child after three months. No. I came back to the kingdom that I truly belong. The only kingdom where I'm treated like a king. Please, please, I beg you. I'm sorry. Please just allow me to start all over from where I stopped being the king of your heart. Please, please. I'm sorry. You just stand up. Take you home. 